Let's react to someone new, someone who just recently hit 25,000 subscribers. Congratulations, girl. I think I've only reacted to B maybe one time. Maybe twice, I don't remember. All I know is that she hit a mile mark of 25,000 subs and that's something to be celebrating about. It's a great accomplishment. So here to support her, I'm gonna go ahead and react to one of her vlogs. All right, B, you ready? Kicking it with B, y'all, let's get it. Yesterday, as y'all saw in the other vlog, I had bought the animals some food, and so now I'm here to feed them because it is storming today. Where she stay at, y'all? Comment below, let me know. Give me some more Once info again, on B. So these roaches, y'all probably thought they was crickets because they look like crickets, but they really roaches. And if y'all don't know, I'm finna tell y'all, I hate roaches. But the fact that they don't look like the normal roaches that like be in motherfuckers' houses and shit like that. <laughs> Oh, cool. Shit I, I grew up with, the shit that I was raised with, they were pretty much my siblings, y'all. I grew up in a trailer park. It was roach infested and mice infested. It was the scariest at nighttime. When you have to use the bathroom in the middle of the night, you would get up, turn on that light, all of us motherfuckers were scattering. I could feed them to him, but when I actually saw them things yesterday in person, I was like, nah, I don't think I'd be able to pick that thing up and like, mm -mm. he don't still? Pick that thing up and like feed it to my son. So for right now, we just gonna stick with his um worms for the time being until like get Wait, who's to, your like, son? What pet do you got? Shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's Lily. <laughs> oh, that's your pet. That's your son. Hold on, y'all are still talking. <laughs> I'm way behind you guys. I apologize. Are y'all still dating? Or are y'all friends? I be letting him roam on the couch and she look at me. Y'all. Oh, hell no. Uh, mm -hmm. I like this egg. Let me show y'all. No. I don't fuck with reptiles. Rodents and everything. None of that stuff. I had enough experience with those motherfuckers. Look at her being a good mama to her son. Is Lily his stepmama? Uh-uh. Mm -mm. I could never, I could never touch those. That's why I don't go fishing. Because of the worms that you have to put at the end of the hook. I ain't touching those. No, ma'am. Oh, you got a cat too? Girl, you got a whole zoo. Y'all, he just be looking crazy. Look at him. Why is he like this? Hi, y'all. So, I decided to get Maple Street biscuits for breakfast. And so, that's what we are um, in here waiting on the food to get done. And, y'all, it started. <laughs> I'm glad I gained me some motherfucking weight because I remember um when I was skinny and it used to storm like this and it'd be rainy and windy like this. <laughs> it'd be blowing you away. Up my feet. The wind <laughs> used to blow me. Me but too. Now I'm a big nigga now, you know. Okay, I ain't big yet. I'm 38 and I haven't gained any weight. Well, I actually gained five pounds. I've always been the same weight since I was a teen, okay? But I did gain five pounds recently and it's all in the belly. Got a little beer belly, y'all. But that wind, though, I'm from Chicago. That wind sure does blow me away. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hold weight now, so it really ain't blowing me like it used to. But, y'all, it is it's getting bad. So we down the street from Lily House, so it ain't nothing when, we, um, when I get in the car. But I had to get the fuck off the highway because, for one, I don't fuck with 18 wheels. I was in a <laughs> wreck when I was a kid with my mom with an 18 wheeler. Uh -huh. I think that kind of, like, traumatize me for life pretty much like i don't when i'm on the highway driving and i'm passing through an 18 wheeler i speed pass and i don't like being in a sandwich like mm. one in front of me i feel you one on each side and one behind me i don't like that and um when we was on the highway the wind was getting crazy and it was making the um 18 wheelers wobbly and shit like that i said oh no got the fuck <laughs> off the highway ASAP. that's scary 
because um if y'all ain't noticed uh, i need i've like blind a little bit i'll be needing glasses and i broke my glasses and so when it rains i do not like driving on the fucking highway mm. i don't like driving at all but i drive on the street that i'm familiar with before i hop on the highway because you know when you drive you ain't driving for yourself you driving for other people and it's like i know i'm a safe driver but you never know who on the fucking highway or on the road so you know what i'm saying but yeah guys i'm waiting on my food ready to get in the house because this wind out here is crazy look they blowing a door open. oh damn it is windy it's crazy where i'm at right now it is negative 10 degrees outside but that wind makes you feel like it's a negative 20 and it hits you right in the face. So I'm guessing this is B's apartment. Just waking up at 7.15. I'm about to get ready and do some hair. I got four clients today. Went to bed late last night, so I need to fucking wake up. I wish I had coffee stuff or something. It's this Starbucks I had that was in my last vlog. I need that. I need that. Cause that definitely gave me some freaking energy. Because I am not fully woke yet. Right? Woke yet, y'all. You know, I respect Beast Hustle. Because it's not easy to be an entrepreneur or a boss of your own. Having your own business. Her doing hair is not easy. Especially um, if it takes hours upon hours to do per client. It's, it's very easy to get comfortable knowing that you're going off of your own schedule it's very easy to just to just sleep in uh, i'll just cancel the client i'll just reschedule but, but from what i've noticed like she's really on top of her shit so i, I appreciate and respect that and i got four clients today and then later on wherever the wind blows it blows because my client's supposed to be here at eight and they're coming from, um they're coming from dalton so they got by, like a 40 minute drive and so they should probably be here at eight on the diet or a little bit after eight and then I got a 10, and then I got 11.30. I mean, then I got a 12, and then I got a 1.30, and I'm done for the day. And um, yeah, I pretty much just wanna go grocery shop. I, I be going grocery shopping every week, y'all. I um I go and get stuff every week because next week, next week we go back to work. We've been on shutdown for um Christmas and New Year's break. And so next week, we hot tell it. <laughs> It's back to the basics, baby. It's been a nice little break. I ain't even gonna hold what you mean? Nice okay, break. so she's got a job too outside of that, outside of hair. So hold on, let me get this right. She's got a job, a business of her own, doing hair and YouTube on the side. Girl, that's what the fuck I'm talking about. That's how you adult. <laughs> okay, that's how you get your own shit and not depend on nobody. That's what's up, girl. And those twenty-five thousand subscribers that you got. It's well deserved, girl, because that shit ain't easy. I work a, a pretty much nine to five and doing YouTube on the side is tough. I'm tired. I'm tired, but just tired. But you out here with a whole three jobs. <laughs> Good for you, girl. And they was treating us right. They, they, they've been treating us right. But I got to go ahead and um, go grocery shopping for like work and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or whatever. And then I still... The, with the with the downstairs with the downstairs let me show y'all oh, she's giving us a tour because i um i didn't tell y'all i didn't tell y'all but i'm turning these into my hair room so right now i just got this is what i'm gonna be actually doing hair in. it ain't gonna look like this for right now but um yeah i'm turning this into my hair room y'all okay and so um I gotta give me a dryer, I gotta give me a stand, I gotta give me another stand to put the snacks and stuff on, and I gotta give me something to cover this little spot over here up. And that's just gonna be where over there, that's just gonna be like where I um after I get done doing that hair, that's gonna be like my back drop wall where I record and take the pictures and stuff like that. So yeah, it um it don't look like nothing right now. It's just this is just the regular stuff. And you I know have. what I also admired about B? is that she never got caught up in the whole drama with Grams. Grams is childish and she be causing too much. She tried her best to ruin what her and Lily have. B is just, she's too busy to be dealing with nonsense. The only time she did really speak on it for real for real was when the girl broke into Lily's house while they were sleeping, where her safety was 
in jeopardy. So now, now you're taking it to a safety matter. Of course she's going to speak on it, and I don't blame her for that shit. But other than that, she don't got time. She don't got time for that. This is where my stuff at for what I do with the hair, the chair, the light, and a cape. So that's all I got. <laughs> That's all I got for um right there. And um, yeah, it's gonna be dope as shit. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be dope doing my hair down there. Cause I was just saying, I had watched the episode of Sarah Jakes a couple of days ago and it was stay it was um titled Stay in Your Lane. And for some reason, that particular one, it kinda like set me down and gave and, and I was giving it my full attention and it kinda like took me to a spot where it was like start from the beginning. And like start from the beginning like what where was i at when i was making the most money where was i at when ideas was flowing in and the money was flowing in and i was the most happiest at and it was when i first moved into my apartment you know my last apartment i wasn't really vlogging i didn't start vlogging in my last apartment but i um in my last apartment i had a two bedroom two bath and i had a sunroom and that sunroom I had turned that into my salon and I was just waking up seven o'clock in the morning with a client and not getting done till seven, six at night. Like that's when I was the busiest and I was pushing out contents on my hair page, on TikTok, going live about my businesses and everything. Mm -hmm. And so that was like, go back to the beginning is what i got from that and that's so what's up crazy, i like that like something as a tv show something in her life which i consider to be a sign there's signs all around us wherever we go whatever we do every day there's always signs we just have to open up our eyes and pay attention to them the universe is telling us something or god is telling us something so for her to actually understand what was happening during that time and to look back at her most happiest moments and for her to understand that if she wants that back, she has to do what she was doing in the beginning, which was hustle. I'm glad you caught that. I was crazy. The soon, soon as I came up with that idea and I started moving, I started moving um everything out of that room and putting like my putting like her stuff up and like um putting stuff in my cart to get for the hair room. Y'all wouldn't believe it. <laughs> I, that same day, I got two out of town clients. And what's crazy is in my city, I didn't start off in my city. Like all my clients, like if you go to my hair page and on my regular page on Instagram and you see me doing hair, pretty much I archived a lot of stuff, you know what I'm saying? And when I made my hair page, a lot of stuff what didn't get transferred over there. But majority of my clients, they were out of town <laughs> clients. Every time you look around, I got people flying in from Vegas, flying in. Oh wow! Miami, goddamn, all over the fucking world. Washington, That's crazy. Memphis, Knoxville, New York. Like I, I, girl, I'm over here thinking out of town, like the city next door. They be flying to you, damn. Literally had clients flying in from all over. In so that says something. Next weekend, I have a client flying in from Chicago. And I have a next next to, next week on a weekday after work, I have a client coming in from Atlanta to get lock extensions. And I was just like, that's how you know when you when you do things that's aligned in your favor and that you do things that you're supposed to do, you will get confirmation where they be a song or a TV. That's what the fuck I said. See, we're on the same page, going. girl. I thought that's so crazy. Like I haven't had a I Finally. A YouTuber that I can relate to. Someone that understands what growth is and what it takes. This is what the fuck I'm talking about. A town client in a minute. Like, but Jordan, like my client's lady just been from the city and stuff like that, which is cool. But an out of town client where a client had to book a, um, a flight and book a hotel to come sit in my chair, it's been a minute. It's been like since last year. And I just found that so crazy. The day I just was moving every. That's the day I wasn't vlogging, y'all. I wasn't vlogging because I was moving everything up out of downstairs and upstairs. That was the day I had booked two clients with lock extensions from out of town. 
in my DMs and my in my messages on my phone, like it's flowing now. Like, and I'm just like copy. I was copy. So me um, turning my downstairs to my salon is like a plus. And I know y'all gonna say me that y'all think I got a stalker. <laughs> And that I shouldn't have people coming in and out my Girl, house. Girl, you got day. a couple stalkers. I the think they finna come in my motherfucking crib and nothing <laughs> happened to them. They got another thing motherfucking coming Okay. In. And I got cameras. And I got an alarm system. Motion like, detectors, you got that too? Think about your life before a motherfucker. Like, I feel like uh -huh. a motherfucker would literally think about their life before they got them trying to come into my motherfucker. But you're speaking about crazies. Crazies don't think about that. They're not thinking rationally. They have a goal in mind. They're trying to get something from out of your or your apartment just to remind them of you, just to fuck with you, just to poke at you. That's what their goal is. They, they're not even thinking about their life. But I'm glad, though, you have a form of protection, many forms of protection, because by the end of the day, you got to do what you got to do to protect yourself and your home. Let's hope to God that never happens. It doesn't get to that point. But at least you're prepared. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like... Well, at my old house, I had like three of them in the living room, in my hair room, and in my own um, bedroom. So if a motherfucker think <laughs> they finna come to my motherfucking crib and they gonna leave this motherfucker, they crazy. Okay. I know y'all gonna say I shouldn't do it, but hey, man, this my motherfucking life. That's right, girl. I'm gonna do it. Like, do it. I'm gonna do it. Like, my energy tells me, my. Believe it or not, when clients see me up, I ain't even got to see them, know them, or talk to them. When they hit me up, my energy will be like, okay, this is a safe person. You can trust this person. This, that, and the third. Because it's been plenty of times where my energy, a, a client have, a client hit me up and my energy just got thrown off just by reading a text or the DM or something like that. I automatically be like, no. I just ignore them or I tell them I'm booked or something. Like, no. Like, my energy, my energy protects me. My energy literally protects me, y'all. So I'm good when it comes to me um, doing her at my house. And I'm just so excited because we finna... Girl, what's her, what's her sign? Do you guys know what her zodiac sign is? I'm not that deep into zodiacs, but it does give me an idea, a generalized idea of who she is as a person. Uh, if y'all know, comment below. That bitch. Ah! We finna pivot ass, y'all, like for real. <laughs> So, um, yeah, it, man, yeah. But anyways, I'm talking a lot. I need to get fucking ready. So, um, yeah, I'll see y'all. Hey, y'all. I'm at, at home, and I'm looking at these bar stools. I'm good, so I'm guessing. I think I'm feeling this one. Because I just really want a bar stool. Mm. So, I think I'm going to just go ahead. That's cute. And get this one, y'all. They got gray, and they got black. But like I told y'all, I really don't want to get black, though. Like, my go-to would be the black one, but... <laughs> Do something different. I'm feeling this white one, guys. Get that white. I think we finna go ahead and get this white one. Um, yeah, let's do it. How tall is B? Do you guys know? I want to know her height. She's yeah, a beautiful woman, by the way. Up. B is a very beautiful woman. I like her style. I like how she carries herself. She's got a little bit of swag. I'm gay as fuck, okay? I love me my feminine women. But I also appreciate beauty. So, she's beautiful. Fucking bar stool because people be coming to my house and, you know, my little couch I got in the living room. And I, it don't really fit a lot of people. And so I said, I just need to go ahead and get like a little extra seat just to have it. And so now, How old is she too? Y'all know when y'all see me at, at home. You guys, come on, help me out. Answer the questions for me because I know B's not gonna answer it for me. So y'all let me know how old is she. Nine out of ten. Comment. When I'm here nine times out of ten, I'm coming here for a mirror. So I told you I have a weird thing for mirrors, and so I'm gonna get another mirror for my room and a mirror for downstairs where I'm gonna be doing hair at. And so yeah, and then look. I might get a plant, but they plants be look, they plants be so expensive for no reason. They be expensive as hell for no fucking reason. Like, like yo, why are you so expensive? <laughs> Especially when they're fake. But I do need a plant in the house, so I ain't even hold y'all. I need one in the house. 
咩事咩事发生啊？其实我无法帮你选，我很差在设计。百分之五，不要玩，快点得。对。这是为什么她喜欢镜子，她喜欢看自己。Self love， 大家 ，self love， 没有什么错的。Poetic justice。Poetic justice。What you trust？ 我想要，嗯，我不知道，我不知道，宝宝，但我。When I'm at home, I, I like her hair. Like lounging around the house in um, clothes, clothes. So I had to come and change before I do anything. Uh, Lily coming over later on, and we going out to um, the cigar bar. And we just catch about tonight, and so I want to cigar bar. So yeah, I'm finna just straighten up, put my stool up, and um, put my mirror up. And then hurry up and do that because, I, like I told y'all, every time I go out, I'll be having to have a fit on, but I ain't trying to. So, I'll be having to have a new fit, so I got to go and um, just probably find me like a little jacket or something, nothing too major. Um, and some pants or something, probably just more more likely just a jacket, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. She's obviously into fashion. So. I mean, I'm not going to be talking on the camera because I'm going to play my music and catch a vibe. So yeah, guys, just enjoy me putting up my stuff, and yeah, I check in when I check in with y'all, gang. See, Lily definitely upgraded from Grams to be. Doesn't matter what their relationship status is. Doesn't matter. It's still an upgrade. It's good to have that type of work-oriented person around you, an independent person around you, not leeching off of you, but helping you build yourself up as well. So she upgraded. Yeah, I keep trying, y'all. Y'all keep telling me to keep trying with these cats, and somebody had um, told me to get one of these things. Um, somebody had told me to get one of these things that you, the cats, you squeeze into the cat mouth and to get them to come to you and like feed out my hand, basically. And um, so yeah, guys, we're gonna give this a try <laughs> because. I'm trying with these cats. As That's funny. See, I'm trying. I'm trying with these cats, man. I don't want to <laughs> She looks frustrated. I, 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 I thought this was going to be a good idea because I be seeing a lot of people um, on Cat Talk. On Cat Talk. People that got cats on TikTok. I be seeing them with this all the time feeding their cats and they love this shit. So, we going to see how this go, gang. I'm going to record me trying to give <laughs> them this. Hopefully, when I open it up, they'll see this it shit. And it'll make them come to me. And so... We gonna see how this go in. I bought them these. Like I, I, I'm, I'm fucking with them. Like I'm trying, I'm trying <laughs> my best to be a good parent. You feel me? It's doing good, I'm girl. I'm trying my best. I'm trying, I'm trying to <laughs> gentle parent with these animals. You feel me? So yeah, I'm trying, gang. Y'all can't say I ain't trying. You feel me? I don't fuck with cats. I could never. I like her furniture too. Kicking it with B. It was nice kicking it with you, girl. Keep doing your thing and I respect your hustle. I got another reaction coming soon. Y'all don't want to miss it. See y'all. Peace.